My name is Fal Nanda. I lead the product management team at Cisco. Uh, this team is called Cisco Wireless. So it formed last year when we were here at MFD. I was very excited to introduce not the Catalyst Wireless team, not the Meraki Wireless team, but Cisco Wireless team. And that's what we are. We've formed a year of partnership of the product management as a single unit within Cisco. Engineering has since formed a single unit. So what you're seeing is a formation of strategy and products you will see on the campus transformation, a couple of, lot of, you know, couple of hours of content, some good speakers, Mince will follow me. I'm just here to give an introduction, take questions as a fresher, and then we know we can go from there. Well, we have an agenda. I think we're gonna walk through this in detail, so I don't wanna to talk too much about this and take time away from the important people. All right, what's up for today? We're talking about wireless strategy, some analytics to get the operational simplicity in front of our customers. We have a new excitement of a product to announce, and then some, some you know, action elements to actually do demos. You know, let's start with what I'm wearing right now. So McLaren, one of our customers, uh, the fastest in the industry in terms of what they do, and how does Cisco Wireless play a role? I just wanted to kick off our presentation with that particular element. Um, well, they've got less than three seconds in their pit stops to do data dumping from their race cars, get it sent over to the cloud, analyze it, along to the pit crews that are inside the, the, right in front of the car to see if any fixes are needed. And all those elements are happening in real time before the car takes off back into the race track, all within less than three seconds. For that, they needed something that's reliable, that's low latency, that works all the time. So they had tablets in their hands. They wanted to make wireless work on the 6E platform. So that's what we have. 9166, I believe, are the access points that are running everything in six gigahertz, so have no interference whatsoever. In addition to the data that IoT is using to send from the car over to the cloud. Everything is happening in split seconds. So the point I'm trying to make here is, this is real technology, real application in use today. And we expect as since 2009, the brand new six gigahertz band being available, that we will have more and more customers use it. By the way, we have more than 35% of our shipment 6E today, just FYI. Is there any right. outdoors today? They're able to do it indoors as they come into the pit stops. And so the so, pit stops are considered indoors? Is correct. that the is that the story? It's a limited containment. So, so they're not doing it actually out like at correct. tracks and correct. all that? Post no, it's in the in the racetrack, but it's a come into the pit stop, which is it's inside. Considered not in the stadium, not in the coverage areas yeah. outdoors. Unless we talk more about the AP that's going to come up next. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so wireless first. We talked about the title, and we are going to be true to that. And you will see that as we build our product strategy, how we're trying to stay close to delivering a reliable Wi-Fi. We are in the junction of six and seven, and we're talking about 5G, so it's a very interesting element to see how we provide reliable Wi-Fi and make sure it's, it's ultra scalable. Of course, everybody wants. We are seeing denser densification of some of the industry's verticals, what they're looking to do when they bring their clients back to the office and what they're expecting. Uh, we're talking about a very secure environment. That's gonna be core to Cisco's strategy. You will hear it in my last slide before I hand it over. The three pillars of what we are trying to innovate on. And, and security is an important element of it. We see more and more concern from IT across enterprises to see how they can provide segmentation, how they can provide more granularity and control over the traffic and the network and make sure everything is going mobile first. Um, it's a new term that we would want to introduce to our customers, to our partners, to everybody else, is that so far we have been talking about on-prem, talking about cloud from a management standpoint. Of course, devices all need to be on-prem to do connectivity. There is always this term in the middle, what we call as a hybrid platform. You might be seeing other uh, infrastructure vendors talk about hybrid for a long time, but in the wireless world, the networking world, we haven't seen much of talk about uh, hybrid. We see a lot of our customers in the journey, whether they want to go to cloud, and it's a long journey for them, depending on how much of deployment they've got. The criticality of the infrastructure, you look at healthcare, you have hospitals, you have clinics. We see deployments, hospitals being on-prem, clinics in the cloud. And there is this term that they stay on. You see universities where the dorm rooms are cloud, they have the campuses uh, on-prem, they have manufacturing and factories they have on-prem, but they have the retail stores on the cloud. The customers are in the journey of a converged management platform where they want the vendors to look at them in, that, in their problem statement. They're going multi-vendor on necessity and need. This is actually the, the need of the hour based on COVID, what put stress into those customer segments to say, I want to be multi-vendor. So how do you support that? How do you look at on-prem? How do you look at cloud? It's not a clean slate of I'm on-prem or I'm cloud. So the hybrid is what Cisco is spending a lot of time on to simplify our customers' transition and journey in no matter which direction they go. It takes multi-year and how Cisco is in the path with them in their journey. That's gonna be an important element 
for our product evolution. Management side of the evolution, our performance is always going to be on site, whether it's switches and access points and security portfolio. And I'll be happy to answer any questions you have. So when you look at that on-prem and cloud and a hybrid architecture, we're going to go a little deep into where we are working on things. You actually see a little view into our product thinking. So there are two wireless architectures, as you very well know. We have the centralized architecture where the access points are overlay technology on top of a switching infrastructure. You don't want to change anything on the switching side, keep the VLANs and all the configurations the same, send the traffic over. And then you have the decentralized, or you call it distributed architecture, where the APs do everything from authentication to forwarding traffic, drop off to the switch, and the switch takes care of the business. If you look at those two rows, and we have the three customer types, we have the customer that's saying, I want to manage everything on my own. It's an island. I want to take care of everything. You'll talk to some of the manufacturing verticals. Entire factory, 6 million square feet of factory, is an island on its own. Everything can go dark. They want that operation to be running 24-7 what, 99% of the time. They only have a short window of upgrades. They can't touch anything, so that's an island. And so they want to go completely customer managed. And then you have the other spectrum where it's cloud managed, and I have a few minutes left. And then middle is the hybrid platform. So what, is, what are we doing as a product team to work on all of these three? When you talk about customer managed, we talk about Catalyst, the entire portfolio, not just the wireless switching, the routing, and the SD-WAN. And the customer is happy with either architecture, centralized or distributed. You go over to the cloud side, which is our Meraki solution, has a very strong distributed portfolio of offerings. What we're introducing through Meraki Campus Gateway is a centralized traffic aggregator for customers who want to be cloud managed and want to bring their Meraki solution to the campus. High density deployments, you're talking about buildings in the, in the, in the uh, higher education vertical, you're talking about headquarters, all those places. So that's one area we're focused on working. Then we have the a middle ground where customers are on-prem or they're trying to make a journey into the cloud, it's a multi-year journey, what are we doing to move them slowly without disrupting their deployment through complete refresh model? So that's what the middle column is. Allow the WLC, the 9800, the favorite platforms of Cisco's for on-prem customer sets to give them visibility through Meraki dashboard, get monitoring going, get the greens and the reds, and then do assurances in the cloud so they can actually do their day one through day N operationalization using the cloud on their existing management platform or controllers the solution. And we go from there. Okay, so that's kind of a, a visibility into what's coming up in the next hour and a half to two. Last one that leads our product strategy. We're focused on simplification, focused on security, and focused on sustainability. And I will touch on each one of them very, very quickly. We focused on AP investments, so customers, regardless of management platforms, deploy what we call a CW access points, they can choose their management platform along the journey. So that's affecting or benefiting their investment. Um, we're talking about access. Cisco always looked at wired plus wireless to make life easier for our customers, make it faster, better, and work together. So you will see us innovating on the switching side, both on Meraki switches, Catalyst switches, and on the Catalyst wireless and the Meraki wireless as one organization. And we are going to scale customer deployments and do operational simplification through ML and AI. We may not have a lot of content. We have some that Mincey is going to talk about. He was the famous from our WLPC presentation recently. Cisco is doing a lot on AI. We're talking a little less about it. We do understand that. What our customers are asking for is what's Cisco's strategy at the top level, going from data center to security to campus to branches, and what is wireless is AI strategy coming together. You will hear that from us very, very soon. And then security, segmentation, micro-segmentation, over-the-air security, on the cloud security. We are the number one cloud vendor in the networking industry. You're talking about 14 million devices that the Meraki Cloud manages across customer segments over the last 15 years. Okay, that's called that Cloud 1.0. And that comes with a maturity cycle of understanding how do you deploy, how do you operate, how do you not burn a customer network when you push an update, how do you roll back, how do you do your upgrade strategy across 300 plus million devices that are seen in the cloud every day. I mean, these are big numbers you're talking about. So how do you become a responsible cloud provider as the customers make their journey? It's an important, that slows us down, but it's an important element of how do we strategize our products. Last but not the least, our sustainability story is absolutely important in terms of every wattage that we put on the access point, how much packet can you transfer through it? Can we shut down cores to make sure we save on power during nights? Turning off radios, as you guys might know, may not work out well with IOTs and everything else being on. So that's been something that the IOT team the CTO organization works very closely. We make sure hardware innovation is a key part 
of our sustainability story, reporting, control, policies. So there are a lot of exciting things coming up in all of these segments. And these are our consistent product strategy and stories as we develop our solution, regardless of what custom, I mean, competition thinks is the most important element for the next you know, month or two.